Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about the additional features and functions we're going to be finding with our registered version of our Tuner Studio software over our light version. So we're going to be finding we have this warm-up enrichment analyzer, and that's going to allow us to dial in our warm-up enrichment really quickly. It's going to be using the wideband that's going to be coming into our Megasquirt compared against a target air fuel at a given coolant temperature, and it's going to give us a new suggested warm-up enrichment value for our table. It's going to allow us to really quickly and efficiently populate the warm-up enrichment instead of going in the trial and error method um, and, and maybe making 10, att 10 attempts on a cold engine to get it right. We can probably find that we can do it within one or two revisions using this warm-up enrichment analyzer. We're also going to be finding we have a compare and difference report so we can compare two files and then it's going to be illustrating every table and everything, every setting that's going to be different between two files. We can take that and then actually copy our compare file. We can copy it into our current file if we like certain settings. That's a great feature or function. We're also going to be seeing we have economy and performance uh, data that's going to be coming in now. So if we want to know what our horsepower or torque is or a drag coefficient, we're going to be able to do that as well as looking at our economy. So how much fuel usage or mile per gallon, we're going to be able to calculate that as well and have that available to us in our data logs or even on our dashboards. So it's a great feature or function. Lastly, we have a restore points feature, and this is going to be a really awesome feature that we didn't have in the light version. That's going to allow us to go in if we go in, uh, shut off our mega squirt or power it on or do a burn, it's going to be saving at that point the uh, all of the data that you had or all the things that you've changed. And you're able to actually jump back to that point and then go in and uh, put all the settings back to that restore point. So that's going to be something um, if you go and make a bunch of changes and you don't like those changes or something happened and the vehicle started to run poorly, you're able to restore it back to certain timestamp data points. And again, we didn't have that in the light version. So that's going to be a huge time saver, especially as you're learning how to use your mega squirt software. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check out all these features and learn how they work. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at some more features and functions that our registered version of our Tuner Studio software is going to offer us over the light version. So in the last two videos, we took a look at uh, going in and actually purchasing the registered version, installing it, and then we looked at how to use the VE Analyze to tune our main fuel table. We looked at our high-speed composite loggers. The last video, we learned how to create these custom dashboards that we can find here as we're kind of panning through. So we found that the, the software already is probably worth paying that upgrade price. But let's take a look at the last bit of features and functions this software is going to offer us over the light version. There's a lot of this is going to be saving us time when we tune. So let's jump in here and take a look at the uh, very first feature. Let's go back into our Tune Analyze Live. And we can find, we look here, uh, Fuel VE Table is going to be that altitude function. We've already went over that. But over here, we find our warm-up enrichment. Now we're able to apply a similar idea to the warm-up enrichment table. So the warm-up enrichment is going to be when we fire off an engine cold. It's going to be adding a certain amount of fuel to allow the engine to warm up and um, we're going to be finding we have to overcome that wall wetting effect where the fuel is going to be sticking to the intake tracks, intake valve. It's going to be efficiently getting into the engine. And we want to run a little bit richer air fuel when the engine fires off, allow it to come up to temperature a little bit quicker allow it to have a much more stable idle. So the warm-up enrichment can really only be tuned once, maybe twice a day at most. And uh, sometimes it's a little bit more of a trial and error as we're moving the values up or down to kind of build this table out. We're able to use this auto-tune feature. It's going to collect the data as the engine comes up from a cold start up to operating temperature and where the table zeroes out. That's going to be roughly in this particular tune. I believe it's 158, 154 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's going to be able to take the information um, as it's collecting, it's going to be looking here at our air fuel, coolant temp, warm up enrichment percent, and then the EGO correction. We're going to be taking all this into account and it's going to go and give us a predicted curve here. And then we can apply that curve if we're, if we're thinking that that's going to be looking appropriate to uh, go in and send to the ECU to replace the warm up enrichment table to overwrite it. And then we can go in and try that and fire it off cold again and try it again. And uh, usually it takes one to two revisions to nail down a warm-up enrichment using this feature here. So it's going to be saving you a lot of headache, a lot of time, um, but it has to be done on a cold engine. Now let's jump through some, some things in the windows here so we can most effectively use this and understand how it's going to work. So we're going to be getting the best results from using it. Now the first thing here, if we 